Start by raising your hands to our Father and start thanking Him for all the things that He has done for each and every one of us. Let us raise our hands and start giving our God. But He's a good God. Father, you're a good God. You're a good God. And your mercy endures forever. Father, we come before your throne of mercy. This final Sunday of the day that you have made in this month, in the year of 2021. Father, we raise our hands to glory and we say thank you, Father. As we reflect back on all the things that you have done to us. For all your goodness, for all your mercy, for all your kindness, Father, we say thank you. For this Thanksgiving Sunday, Father, let it not only be we reflect back on this Sunday, but on every single day of the year that you have brought us through, oh God. Because many are not in the land of the living. Many cannot speak. Many are in hospitals. Many are not here, oh God. They cannot give you the praise and they cannot give you the glory. But we can give you we can give you the glory. So, Father, we raise our hands and we say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba, Father, for all your mercy, for all your goodness, oh, merciful Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, oh, merciful Father. Father, we raise our hands to glory for your goodness, for your mercy, for your love, for every single thing, Father. We give you all the glory and all the praise. Father, we are nothing on our own. We are thankful, Father, because no one, no one can give us the things that you do. We are thankful, Father, for your all, every single day where you love us, Almighty God, where your goodness and your mercy follow us every single day of the life. We do not deserve it, oh God. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We compare. We compare what man can do to what you can do. It is insurpassable, oh God. We say, thank you, Father, for man cannot do what you can do for us. Man cannot love us the way you love us, almighty God. We say, thank you, Father. While man can say they can love us, but they will never love us the way you do, oh God. No one can die on the cross like you died on the cross for us, oh God. No one can die and go to the hell and take the grave. Go to the grave and take the keys of death and on the grave. No one can do that, oh God, but only you can. So we thank you, Father. No one can love us the way you love us, oh God. But only you can love us the way you do, almighty God. Only you, almighty God. So we say thank you, Father. Only you are a faithful God to us, oh God. Only you you who can be faithful to us, Almighty God. Only you, oh God. So we say, take you, Father. We take you, Father. We take you, Father. We take you, Father. We thank you for your faithfulness, Almighty God. You will never betray us. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us, Almighty God. Only you can claim that. And only you can do that, Almighty God. When others can claim that they are faithful to us, only you can be faithful to us through the very end, Almighty God. For you say you will never leave us and you will never forsake us, Almighty God. So we thank you, Father. We thank you for your faithfulness, Almighty God. Father, only you, only you, Almighty God, you thick and thin will be with us, Almighty God. When we pass through the fire, you are there with us. When we pass through the rivers, you are there with us. No one can claim that but you, Almighty God. Only you, oh Father. So we take you, Father. We take you, Father. No one can profess the love that you have for us and demonstrate it like you can, Almighty God. Only you, Father. So we take you, Father. Through the thickness, through the, through the through trials, through tribulation, through the fire, through every single thing, Almighty God. You have been with us, Almighty God. You have been with us for the month of January. We say thank you, Father. You have been with us through, through January, through February, through March, through April, through May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and this very month, Almighty God. We say thank you, Father. In everything, Almighty God, you have brought us through, Almighty God. 
to every sickness, to every pain, to every trial, to every tribulation. Father, you have been with us, Almighty God. We say, take you, Father. Take you, Father. Father, the love that you have for us, it is unsurpassable. The love that you have for us, Almighty God, you say neither nakedness, no peril, no tribulation, nor no other man can take away and separate the love that you have for us. No man can claim that. Only you, Father. So we say, thank you, Father. No one can fight our battles for us the way you do, Almighty God. We say, thank you, Father. Father, those unseen battles that they that, 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 that are fought with us, fought against us. People are coming against us. Father, the spiritual warfare. You said you are you will fight our battles for us. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are our defender. You are our protector. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. No one can fight our battles for us, Almighty God. Only you, Almighty God. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Father, for your Holy Ghost. We say thank you, Father, for the peace that you left with us. The peace that passes all understanding. Thank you, Father. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for sending your angels. Thank you for your war angels. Thank you, Father. No one, no one can claim what you do for us, Almighty God. So we hold on to you and we come to you, Almighty God, with a thankful heart. A thankful heart, Almighty God. For we take nothing for granted, Almighty God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for creating us in your likeness and in your image. Thank you for making us fearfully and wonderfully made. No one can create you. Only you, oh God. Oh, no one, Almighty oh God. We stand before you in your likeness and in your image, Almighty oh God. No one can claim such a wonderful creation as the creation that you made us, Almighty oh God. We say, Thank you, Father. No one can breathe life into us as you have breathed into us, Almighty God. Only you, Almighty God. You are the creator of all things in heaven and the earth, Almighty God. We say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We come with thanksgiving and praise and honor to you, O God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, to all the trials and tribulations and the testing of 2021. You have been with us, Almighty God, every single day. And your goodness and your mercy follows us, Almighty God. It follows us. No one can claim following us with such goodness and such mercy, Almighty God. Only you anoint our head with oil so that our cup run it over. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You place a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You fight our battles for us, Almighty God. You take away the battle from us and you fight it for us. Only you can, Father. You are the Jehovah Gimor. Mighty in battle. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We need not turn to no one but you, God. For you are faithful, God. You are a righteous God. You are a just God. And you never fail us. You never fail us, oh God. So we say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are the all time to finish off all faith. And we look to you, almighty God. For all good things come to you from you. So we say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As we raise our voice. The voice that you give us, the tongue that you give us, Almighty God. We praise you. We praise you. And we give you all the glory. And we give you all the praise, Almighty God. For you are deserving of it, Almighty God. You are deserving of it, Almighty God. We stand here. We stand here this morning, Almighty God. To worship you. And to praise you, Almighty God. You took us out of our beds. We were able to come out of bed with our health, with our strength, with our our, our, our understanding Father it comes not from us but it comes only from you oh God so we say thank you Abba, Father take you Father 
Father, we lift our hands to you and we say we are not our own. You have given us every single thing, Almighty God. Every single thing that we need under the sun to exist, Almighty God, you have left it for us. We thank you for your joy, the joy. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your Holy Ghost. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for your power that you left in us, Almighty God. We thank you, Almighty God. We thank you, Almighty God. We do not say we are weak. Let the weak say that we are strong. We we say we are strong in you, Almighty God, because we step into you and we embrace you. We embrace your love. We embrace your power. We embrace your strength. We embrace your goodness. We embrace your love. We embrace your endurance. We embrace capacity. We embrace every single thing, Almighty God, to take us through a day, a day that you have made, Almighty God. And we rejoice in it and give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor, oh God. Father, as this last Sunday in this year, Almighty God, we give it to you, Almighty God. We give our worship to you, Almighty God. Let it be a sweet smelling fragrance, Almighty God, as we offer our sacrifice, as we offer our worship to you. Let it be pleasing to you, Almighty God. Let it be pleasing to you, Almighty God. All our gifts, all our talents, Almighty God, we give it to you, and only you, Almighty God. For you are God, and you are God all by yourself, Almighty God. Father, thank you for coming through for us every single day of this year, Almighty God. We are here because you brought us through. We are here today because you were with us. You were holding our hands. You were holding our hands every single day, every single trials, every single tribulation. Father, you are there with us. And we stand with you, Almighty God, as our conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We hold on to you, Almighty God. We leave our battles to you. We leave our cares to you because you care for us. And Father, we know that you will never leave us and you will never forsake us. So we hold on to you and we say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for, for allowing us to lean on you, to lean on you, to rest in you, to depend on you as our God of our gods as the Lord of Lords, as the King of Kings. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Father, we lift up this worship before you, Almighty God. And we call on your angels. We call on your mighty angels. We call on your ministering angels. We call on your war angels. We call on your protection angels, Almighty God. Let your angels be loose over this place, Almighty God. Let your angels be loose. Let your angels, Almighty God, be loose over this place. The four corners of this place, Almighty God. Let your angels be loose on the roof, Almighty God. Let them ascend and descend in this place of worship, Almighty God, to be seated amongst your saints, Almighty God. I call on your blood. I call on your blood, your conquering blood, your redeeming blood, Almighty God. Let your blood, Almighty God, be released over this place, Almighty God. Let your blood be released over the entrance by the stairs. Let your blood be loose over the doors, over the windows, and in all of the chairs and upon us, Almighty God. Let your blood be released over us, Almighty God, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, Almighty God. Let your blood, Almighty God, saturate each and every one of us, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your blood, Almighty God, remove every single spirit of depression, every single barrier, every single thing, Almighty God, that is not of you, any headaches, any sickness, or a pastor of Okerava. We call on your blood, Almighty God, to remove it. Let your blood, Almighty God, be released in this place, O Kashko de Basharaba. Eroboko de Manda. Let it bring deliverance, Almighty God. Let your blood bring deliverance in this place, Almighty God. O Bekeraba Shemikori Amaroko Tereva. Rebe Kiraboko Toriba. Reba Toriba Tereva. Reba Kashaba Kiriko Toriba. Rabba. We bind and we rebuke every spirit of backlash, turn back every spirit of retaliation against 
your people against the man and woman of God, against Christ for the deliverance ministry. We bind it and we rebuke it, Almighty God. Every diabolical assignment, every diabolical conspiracy assigned against your people, assigned against Christ for the deliverance ministry, Almighty God. We bind and we rebuke it. We cramp and we paralyze all the plans of the enemy against your ministry, Almighty God. And we decree and we declare that no weapon, not one single weapon formed against your church shall be prosperous, shall prosper, Almighty God. We decree and we declare that the gates of hell shall never prevail against your people. For we are your people. We walk with you. We talk with you. And you tell us, oh, Shema, we are your own. And the joy we share as we tarry here, no one has ever known. We walk with you, oh God. We call on the open heavens, oh God. Let your angels and in this sanctuary, Almighty God, let there be open heavens, open heavens over this ministry, Almighty God. Let the door heavens, oh God, open over this ministry, Almighty God, as we worship you in spirit and in truth, oh. Mighty God, Father, we love you. We are here to worship you. We are here to give you our worship. Take our worship, oh mighty God. It belongs only to you, Abba Father. For all you have done for us. Oh, Father, we are thankful. We are grateful. Oh, we are not fearful because we know we serve a living God, the one who is there for us. No matter what, we can call on you 24 7, Almighty God. And you are never deaf to oppress. Your hands are never short to reach us, oh God. We love you, Father. In all that we go through, we hold on to you, oh God. We hold on to you because no one else, no one else can love us the way you do. No one else can forgive us the way you do. No one can protect us the way you do. No one can hold us in times of need like you do. No one can give us the peace that passes all understanding like you do. No one can fight our battles like you do. Only you, oh God. Only you, oh God. In darkest night, I can call on you. In darkest night, we can call on you. And we say, oh mighty God, because of all you are, we love you and we praise you and we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Only you, Father, only you, Father, can do the things that you do for us. No man can do it, Almighty God. So we come today with a thankful heart, a thankful heart, Almighty God. For we know that we serve a risen Savior. We know we serve a risen King. And we are not turning back from who we know who you are. We strive, Almighty God, and we face, and we look to you, Almighty God. We look to the hills, and we know that our help, it comes from you, Almighty God. We can say that you are a way maker. When there seems to be no way, you are the way maker. No one can claim to be a way maker for us. Only you, oh God. In the valleys, you are there with us. And you take us to the mountain top. Only you can reach and bring us down. And bring 
deliver us from where we are, Almighty God, and take us to the top. Only you can do that, Almighty God. No man can do that for us. Only you, God. So we take this time. We take this time and we reflect on all your goodness and all your mercy and all that you have done for us, Almighty God. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God. For we have so much. We have so much to be thankful for. We have so much to be thankful for. We lift up our praise to you, O oh God. For you are deserving of all our praise and all our glory and all the honor, Almighty oh God. Father, as we set this time to worship you, Almighty oh God. Let your word be brought, Almighty God, by the man and the woman of God. Let it be timely, Almighty God. Let it be timely, Almighty God. Father, I lift up the man and the woman of God before you. I lift up, uh, I lift up our Apostle Dave Osborne. I lift up uh, our senior pastor, Rita Osborne, before you, Almighty God. Father, continue to bless them. Continue to pour your anointing on them every single day, Almighty God. Let them be like the trees uh, by the river. Oh, Let them be a bellies flow rivers of living water. Father, continue to protect them, continue to bless them, continue to watch over them, continue to fill them, Almighty God. Fill them, Almighty God. Keep on filling them, till they are cup, till they overflow. Let them overflow, Almighty God, with your anointing every single day, Almighty God. Strengthen them, Almighty God, as only you can strengthen them, Almighty God. Oh, Mashelebe Kiro Kotoriva. Cover them under your wings. Hide them under your wings. Let your Holy Ghost smoke screen, Almighty God. Protect them. Cover them, Almighty God. That they focus more and more on you, Almighty God. Give them the capacity, the endurance, and the power, Almighty God. Every single day, Almighty God, as they lead this ministry. For they are called, they are chosen to do this, Almighty God. And we pray for them. We lift them up, Almighty God, in prayers. We lift them up, Almighty God, as only you can, Almighty God. Shower them, protect them, strengthen them, and fully every single day, Almighty God. Pour fresh, fresh anointing over them, Almighty God, as they lead your people, Almighty God. Father, I live for Max for those deliverance ministry, Almighty God. I live for your people before you, Almighty God. Strengthen your people, Father, as the word, as the word comes before us, Almighty God, from the man and the woman of God. Let your people, Almighty God, receive your word. Let our spirit, Almighty God, be quickened to receive your word. But not only to receive it, Almighty God, but to operate and to understand that this word, Almighty God, it is nothing if we do not if we do not practice it almighty God father quicken the spirit in us almighty God that we receive it and that we do something about it let there be deliverance let there be signs let there be wonders almighty God in this ministry today almighty God let there be lives that are changing let there be transformation almighty God by the quickening of your word by the quickening of your word that it spears that it pierces the spirit uh, that it pierces the soul uh, and that it brings uh, changes almighty God father I lift up the man and the woman of you of God to you almighty God father bless them bless their going in and bless their going out almighty God and bless their families almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father I bring the praise worship team before you I bring the musician before you almighty God I bring the drummer before you almighty God father bless his hands. Father, I bring the keyboardist before you. Father, bless his hands. Father, bless them, Almighty God. Bless them, Almighty God. Anoint their hands afresh, Almighty God, as they do your work. Almighty God. Bless them. Father, I bring the praise worship leader before you, Almighty God. Continue to anoint her vocals, Almighty God, as she sings for you, Almighty God. Father, I deliver this worship to you, Jesus. I deliver this worship to you, Jesus. I 
deliver them to you, Almighty God. I deliver your people before you, Almighty God. Father, and we lift up, we lift up this worship before you, Almighty God. We pray, we pray, Almighty God, that it is pleasing to you. It's pleasing to you. And let the words and the meditation of our hearts, Almighty God, be acceptable to you. I deliver our worship to you, Almighty God, in no other name but the name of my brother, Jesus Christ of Nazareth.
Yeah.
You see, when you are planning to go somewhere in Christianity, it is not the drum folk music you must listen to. Dance and swing and that's not what takes you to the place. What takes you to the place is intimacy. Into me. And many of us home, we listen to all the jumping and the backing and the pan. So when it, when it comes to worship, we are not in the place to entertain what God is dishing out. Why? Because you never dance a yard. So you can't dance a run. Come into my heart. Into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in. Come in. It's the church. Come in. Assist me, sir. flat on my face before God and the Lord has been showing me some things and he said in order for the anointing of God to stir up inside of you you have to make decisions willful decisions because nothing for nothing you need something you got to provide something Yes, 
nothing but the Holy Ghost in my life. Hey, nothing but the Holy Ghost. Yes, in my life. Nothing but the Holy Ghost in my life. Yes, nothing but the Holy Ghost. Yes, in my life. Yes, nothing but the Holy Ghost. Hey, in my life, hey, nothing but the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus, in my life, church, nothing but the Holy Ghost. In my life, nothing but the Holy Ghost. Hey, in my life. We have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege! Privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what a friend! We have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear. Hey, what a privilege, a privilege to carry, touch everything, to God in prayer, not in my Holy Ghost, oh, in my life, not in my Holy Ghost, yes, church in my life, yes, not in my Holy Ghost, yes, in my life. I really enjoy myself for the Christmas program. I really do. As many that was at the Christmas program, it seems like they don't even wake up yet. I mean, we have a ball. We have a wonderful time. Everyone call me and what's up me as a man of God. We, 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 we believe that this year was better than last year. Ah, uh, Jesus. I mean, I have seen people sing on key. I have seen people sing off key. I mean, all the ones that sing up key look like they don't wake up yet. <laughs> so you, you don't see them this morning. Amen? But I get to realize who can sing from who can sing. Who can dance from who can dance. But I'm here this morning to tell you that I see many talents in this ministry. After leaving here on Tuesday night, we leave here after 11. After 11. And when we, when we decide to close, I mean, we didn't even want to close. I was saying to ourselves that, you know, the, 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 the Prime Minister should have bring back the date that it could be done and, and pull it, you know, so that we could have get the time. But then after the thing, don't even pull it. But we really enjoy ourselves. And I want to encourage the church. The same way, the same energy that you have in, in doing this kind of thing in church, in programs, I want you to put that energy also in studying the word. Put that energy also in worshiping the Lord. Put that energy in spending time with God. Because it is very important. It is not to develop me, it is to develop yourself. Amen. Have a seat in the presence of the Lord, Reverend Atala. I want you to put up Mark 1 verse. 17. We're going to start from 17 and, and you're going to stand for the reading of the word. Amen. And you're going to read the word with me. Amen. This morning. 
because I am going to outline some things so that you could understand. Read that word for me, my daughter. Stand for the reading of the word. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Read that again. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Go down more. And straight away they forsook their nets and followed him. Continue. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. And straight away he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servant and went after him. Continue. And they went into the Capernaum, sorry, and straight away on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribe. I, I want you to mark the word in your Bible, authority. Continue. And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Mark unclean spirit. Continue. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who art thou, the Holy One of God. Mark, I know thee, the Holy One. Mark that. Continue. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And Jesus what? Rebuked him. And said to him what? Hold thy, Hold thy peace. Now when, 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 when Jesus rebuked him and said, Hold thy peace. I want you to mark in your paper authority. Continue. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. He came out of what? Out of him. Continue. And they were all amazed. They were all what? Amazed. amazed. Continue. In so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? Huh. The question can they never understand what is happening with Jesus Church. And so they gather among themselves and they question it and say, What kind of thing is this? Continue. What new doctrine is this? What new doctrine is this? What kind of doctrine that is how oh, this come to Antigua? What kind of man is this? Who is he? Why, why he come with this kind of doctrine? Come on. For with authority commandeth he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. Even the unclean spirit, the man talk to, and they pay. What kind of man is this? Continue. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Immediately. Now, I, I, I told you to mark authority. When someone is in authority his name spread around the world it spread good and it spread bad continue and forthwith when they were don't sit here there, I want you to start and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John hmm. but Simon's wife mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her and he came and took her by her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left her and she ministered unto them and as even when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils Mighty God. And all the city was gathered together at the door. My God. And he healed many 
that were sick of Tiber's disease and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. What did he do? He suffered the devils not to speak because they knew him. Continue, we are going. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and they prayed and they prayed. In what? In what? A early what? Day. A great while before what? Before day. That is the trick. I want you to mark that word that I'm giving to you. He wake up a great while before what? Before day. That means before everybody wake up. Before daylight. Jesus, who is God, who don't have to do all of that. But he still wake up a great while before daylight. And he moved to a place, a solitary place. And he prayed. Continue. We soon got like this now. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. And what they did? They followed after him. Continue. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. All men do what? Seek for thee. And he said unto them, huh. Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also. For therefore uh, came I forth. Why to jump to Mark 3? Jump over to Mark 3. I think it's 18. Jump over to 18. And Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon the Canaanites. <clears throat> and Judas is Carius, which also betrayed him. Hey. They went. I want to name this talk today the way to authority. Please have a seat in the presence of God. I want to greet the house this morning. I am very excited. I'm very comfortable. I'm very satisfied where the church is today. The place that God has bring Christ's followers to. I'm very satisfied. The 19th of January is going to make us two years in Antigua. And majority of the time we, we encounter COVID. So majority of our time spent in the home, in the house. But we were able to pull through. Even though the circumstances were rough, tidal waves were coming. Things seem as if it wouldn't work. But when you have authority and you know who Jesus is, you will be able to win some. As I'm looking at 2022, God has given me an instruction to carry the church into a place of unstoppable favor and power. If you are ready to go somewhere, then you will jump on the ship and push. But if you are not ready to go somewhere, you will jump off a board and the ship will go. If you look at many things that is happening in the world today, it has been affected the people 
by the ones that is in authority and power. If you look at the leaders that is controlling the, the resources that you as human beings need to, to, to occupy, to do, to make things work. These are leaders of different countries. These are leaders of police force. Leaders, mighty God of, of, of who know, of, of your work. You, you do your job and you have the boss there is in authority. I'm going to show you something. When the people of a country voting a man to become a leader, their leader, then you are under the constitutional law that that leader walking. And that man has been given power by the people of the country that has made it their business to walk to the polling station and to give that man their vote. Whenever the election is over, that man has the right to do the things that he wants to do to control the country. And even if there is something that is going on that the people in the country don't like, then you could talk to the blue. The constitutional law stands. Because you have given unto him your rights. You have given unto him your power. You have said to him, you are my leader in this country. I have given you power to lead me and to make sure the affairs in this country run right. When that man gets leading position, what he has done, he has made some different places that he wants to meet. And he said, Jennifer, you going run things here. Brother Paul, you going run things here. Sister Mary, are you the commissioner? So when anybody do anything wrong, I am giving you the authority to arrest and to sentence through the court system. I'm getting somewhere, follow me. Authority. There's a lot of people who have power. I'm, I'm hoping that you get what I'm saying. There are many people that are walking in power but they don't have no authority hear me very well the bible says we all I give you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion but power can be dormant depend on the position that you're in but when you have authority you will be able to execute the judgment against anything. You see the commissioner, he has authority. So he gave the police officer power. He said, go out and execute the judgment against anyone that disappeared the law of the land. When the officer put on his badge and he come down the road, and if he's still doing something wrong, he has that power in his hand. And he can arrest you. He can. Ah, oh, Jesus. So Christians, Christians, child of God. Oh, Jesus. The church of the living God. We carry the dynamos anointing, the power of the living God, the authority. I'm coming on to you. Do you know 
that the Bible stated that all power in heaven and in earth was given unto to God, Jesus. Read your Bible. It says all power in heaven and in earth was given unto Jesus. And God gave Jesus the authority. And Jesus decided to give a set of people that authority and power. Now, if you understand about power, you will understand that when you are poor, you can access some things. It is all right. If I need to see the Prime Minister, and I have power and favor with him, because he has placed me in a, a place of power. If I want to see the Prime Minister, I don't have to go through the secretary to go and tell the secretary that I want to make an appointment to see him. What I do, I step in and I said, Morning, Madam Secretary. The man is there? I said, Yes, I just step in. Because I have favor with him, I have power with him, and I am working with him. So, what I can do, you cannot do. Because you don't have that authority, you don't have that favor. When you become a child of God, wash in the fountain of the Almighty God, cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, you naturally become the church. If very well. There are many people that say that the building is the church, but it's a wrong, wrong teaching. It will be very well. This corner building, it is not a church. You are the church. So when the church come together in the building and worship God, then the favor of the Almighty God drop upon you. <laughs> now, if I want to work out something, then if God say, all power in heaven and in earth as given unto Jesus and Jesus said that he give the power to the church all power that means the power in heaven I wonder if you're ready for this man all power in heaven and in earth who, who, who using it who, who, who angling this, this power? Who Jesus has given this power to? There, there must be a life that given because it says, I give unto you. Oh, Jesus. There's a scripture that says, Be all I give unto you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy. That means there must be someone that God has, has looked upon and said, Yes, I am satisfied with the people that my son has given the power to. Now, if you look at the power, this power is so powerful that you can heal the sick, you can raise the dead. You can cast out legions. You can cleanse the lepers. You can tell people about it. You can do so many things. You can bound things in heaven. You can bound things in earth. You can bound things under the earth. Now, this power that I'm talking about, I am not talking about the power that the prime minister get by people. I am not talking about the power that the Queen of England carry. I am not talking about the power 
and the prime minister that be carrying me and carry. I am not talking about the power that your boss that give you a job carry. I am not talking about that, that power that was given to police officers and soldiers. Uh, God and my dear, I am talking about the real power. Who it was given to? God has given his son, Jesus Christ, all power. He said, all power in heaven and in earth was given unto me. Oh, Jesus. Get up, man. Read right here for me. Matthew 28, 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Hold on, hold on, you hold it Read from the the, the top. From the top. Go to to 70. Read from 70. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. And when they do what? Saw him. When they saw him, they do what? They worship him. But some doubted. But some do what? Doubted. Jesus. I want you to mark doubt. Doubt. Read something again for me. And when they saw him, they worshiped him. And when they saw him, they do what? Worshiped him. They worship him. But some doubted. And some do what? Doubted. Jesus. And Jesus came and spake unto them. And Jesus. Came and spake unto them. Speak unto them and so on. All power is given unto me. All power was what? Given unto me. Given unto me. Who me? Jesus. Amen. In heaven and in earth. In heaven and in earth. Now sit down. Put it up for me. When someone is saying that I give you power, that means he has given you that kind of authority to execute the judgment against what he in charge of. Now come my son. If I said to this little boy, all power given unto you in this church, you must make sure that this church clean. No one else should come here and clean. You are alone. You must guard the pulpit like this. Nothing must come to the pulpit. No. Come in right now. No. Try to pass it. Go to the pulpit. Black heart. Black heart. And she's trying to pass. Don't, don't even go. She's taller than him. And look rougher than him. But his instruction that he gets is to carry what? The pulpit. And at all costs, don't matter what, he, he is saying in serious freedom, it means that nobody passing him to get to the pulpit. Try to pass him. <laughs> because there was a authority that was given to him. Thank you. <laughs> no. Jesus has taken that power and he has said ah, Jesus oh God Come here, my dad. Come quick. Yes. Jesus has taken the power. No, she's representing all of you. And said, I am, I am going to give the power that my father, the authority that my father placed upon me. I am going to place it on the church. Because we are the church. So Jesus take the authority from his 
himself and he said, I am going to sit on the right hand of my father. And I am going to place the power on the church. Come back, sit down. Now, since the church has come to a place where God has given them the authority and power on earth, what is the church doing with the power of God? What is the church is doing with the things that God carefully give your brother Jesus and he carefully give it to the church? What are the church doing with the power? So you feel sick, your head hurt you. And you call a sister. Sister going through one pain that it may cross my neck. It has hurt me. May I ask you to pray for me? What up? Are you not the church? No, no, I want you to tell me. Are you not the church? Oh God Almighty. Why God would have given something to Jesus to take it down with it? It was given for a specific task, a specific purpose. That's why when Jesus gave the church the power, he said, Behold, I give every one of your church power to do what? To tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. The keys of the promise of God is in each and every one of your hands. Today, we are heading further and further. By the time I finish preach, the time will move forward, not backward. That means we are going towards 2022. You have to make a serious decision that will, will, will put you in an in a, in a easy position where you will you will make up in your mind that no longer I will be a dead church because where I'm going to is an assembly and if I go to the assembly and dead then nothing will go on for me I will go back home see you as I come there are many times you look at the man of God and you say then what is carrying that I am not carrying you have to dig deep you have to understand where much is given much is required you can't expect to come to work sit up on my job you know I do not know all you get on phone and chat people business you 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 not make no no effort to sign up the documents that, that I need you to sign up. The peer will not come weekend. People to get peer and you sit on palm phone. And then when Friday come and Monday come, you looking for peer. I come to tell you today, you will reap whatsoever you sow. It is nothing for nothing. My mother used to tell me. That I share out your food here, but I don't put the graveyard over it. That means I am leaving space for you to work because I can't put everything here. I gotta make sure that you cut the dumpling and you dip it in the gravy. You see, you can't sit down and wait for people to preach to you, people to read Bible to you, people to shout and jump for you. And then you say, hey, man, I love a woman. And then you sit around a big plate of rice and peas. Lord, like God, Christmas, no one, I'm involved. And then you say, prop. Hey, man, church was nice to me. But if I ask you what the message is, you don't know what the message is, bro. You see? Power. Come with discipline. And I thank God for the ones that are here that take discipline. And I still thank God for the ones that are not here that run from discipline. Because when you can take discipline and correction and you can sacrifice. 
manifest. I lay on the belly before God. At this morning, maybe about three o'clock, I find myself like I want to sleep. But Lord Jesus, man, when I remember all the tasks that God placed in front of me, I said, Lord, I'm going to prepare myself because it is a new year is coming and I don't want to become a dead church. So I just bring my foot over upon the couch and I say, for better for worse, prayer for dead to a spot. But I must rap a kapata kata. I must pray. You can't have a bright future without the hard work. You can't uh, get a black banana. Banana group. And you want to pick banana. And you don't plant banana. And you don't have no money to go to the supermarket to buy banana. Uh, Jesus, what have you done? What have you done? One day, your oil is going to run out. And you're going to need oil in your lamp. By the time you're going to come back, Lord God Almighty, the banana done. Some say, oh, so sweet to trust in Jesus. I will go be at work, my daughter. And I say, trust to rest upon his promise. Trust to know thou say the Lord Jesus Jesus how I trust him. Oh, I prove he more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious. Oh, how grace to trust. You see, seeing that you trust God, it's different. From when you make up in your mind to trust God. I'll speak it over and over in this church. And wherever I travel in the world to preach and do deliverance, I speak it. It said, Do I speak with the tongues of men and of angels? And I have not love. I have nothing. Hear me very well. And I'm praying that you're getting what I'm saying today. Do I speak? Do pastor may I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and don't have love. I have nothing. Do I give my body to be burned? I understand all knowledge. I understand everything. I could move mountain, but I have not love. I have nothing. Lord Jesus, if you don't have love, you can't have a character. I'm going to outline a few things for you today. Because many today, their problem has not been solved. Because they don't know the channel to walk through for the problem to be solved. Because they don't know the formula. If you are mixing lemonade and you don't put it in lime, it's not lemonade, that's not water. Yes, it can drink. And it is good to when it up in little ice. And, and the sugar and water cool. But it's not lemonade kind of in the lime. You see, when you need something, and you are trying to do something, and you don't have any proper ingredients in it, God, the formula is just not right. You need to go and sit, and to learn to be taught how to deal with the formula. I, 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 I find a party place of the road. 
It's coming, it's come party. Lord Jesus, I'm the first time I buy the party. I say the party feels good. But one thing, Lord Jesus, this the party juicy man. Oh God, you have a little more juice in it. But I understand it has come from far. So by the time it reach here, a little bit of the ingredients that not earn. But if you know about good cooking, you will understand that Lord man, somebody found me on the right here. You understand me? Hear me people, in order for the anointing and the glory of God to rest upon you, you need the right formula. You need it. It is very important that if we are going somewhere for 2022, we must sit down and to study to show thyself approved and to God, not unto man, and to God, a workman who is not ashamed, but who will rightfully divide the word of truth. You need the glory, you need power, you need anointing, you need everything that God has destined upon your life to operate. You want to be unstoppable in Antigua, you want to be known all over, you want people to say that yes, she's a woman of God, yes, he's a man of God, yes, the power of God is resting upon him. Yes, when you speak, hell has to obey you. Then you need the formula. And the first one is love. If you don't have love, are you telling me that God has speak to you? You think you're fooling me. You're fooling yourself. You don't have love. Are you, are you prophesying into people's life? You know I'm love. And your second is telling you about this and that telling you about that. That's lie. Where is the love of God inside of you? For it to not his power to be activated. The power of God chiggers. The glory of God triggers by love. In order for you to consider into the position, you have to have love. L O V E. You got to have love. Love suffered long and very kind. You can't want to operate in the supernatural. You can't say you walk with my God and there is no love inside of you. Somebody do you something and before you take it to God in prayer you, 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 you round a corner there and die, 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 die. I don't say you can't die about die. I mean, I say you can't pray about die. But what I'm saying, the Bible said, bless them that curse you and do good to them that hate you and pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you. That you, the church, may call the children of the Father, which is in heaven. You need to understand the Father to the glory. You are praying Sunday after Sunday, Monday after Monday, Tuesday after Tuesday. Oh Lord, oh God. Yes, Lord, Lord, kill my enemy. Lord Jesus, oh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not going anywhere because it's going out of anger. Anger is a demon. Oh, God, Jesus. God Almighty. Oh, can you pray out of anger and God hear you? This life of the pit of hell is lie. Nobody fool you. God is 
is at the altar of confusion. God is not do stupidness. God is a God of all. God is a God of power and authority. God is a God of love. The Bible says, for God so love, Lord God Almighty, he sent Jesus who move with compassion. And he come to the earth. He said, for God so love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But God sent that his son into this world to condemn the world. So why are we condemning people? Why? Why are you condemning somebody when God sent his son and his son never condemned nobody but through the son the people may be saved? You need the power. You need the glory. I'm giving you somebody family. That's why when people step on my door and it hurt me now. He hurt me. And I feel like do something of the way. But there's a song say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. Yeah, my soul, cry out, hallelujah. Lord God, I took you for saving me. Hey, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Oh, yes, and all he has done for me. Oh, my soul, cry out, hallelujah. Yes, thank God for saving me. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Hey, and all he has done for me. Oh, my soul, Cry out, hallelujah, yes, thank God for saving me. I am praying that you mark it down the formula that I'm giving you today. I hope you have pen and paper to catch the formula. As I said, the first one is love. The second one, you have to learn to forgive. You have to learn to forgive people. You have to learn to let go anger. Let it go. Because if you hate people and carry people in your belly, what you're doing is taking up the space for the Holy Ghost to live. And, and, and the more, ah, Jesus, I want to come, come, daughter, come. Come, my son. Come. Wake up, your daughter. Come. Come here, purity. Stand up here. I'm use all of you. Come, come, stand up here. Come here, little girl. Come. Come. Stand up over here. Stand up over here. You stand up here. Oh. Now, when you are in Christ, and you are not executing the 66 books of the Bible and mandate upon your life. You are not walking in love. Go over there. Go, go over there. Stand up. Stand up here. Stand up here. Come over. Come over. This is Jesus. No. If you are not Walking in love. Come closer. All of you, come back closer. Come closer. Come closer. I want to show you something. When you're walking with God, this is the closeness that you be with God. That means when you need the glory, you don't have to stretch for the glory because you are in the presence of God. Touch her, you touch her, touch her, touch her. Everybody who is close to Jesus will hear the touch. You don't have to stretch. 
No, I'm going to show you something. Anytime you start to drift away from God, go back, 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 you stand up. All right, stand up here. So you have no love. The more you start to decrease in love, it's a fire. You begin to drift from God. You see, when you are drifting, you're not even realize you are drifting. The first is that some of our things should not move. Ah, Jesus. Uh, all right. The more the, 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 the love is going, drift a little bit. Drift a little bit. The more you are out of love, is the farer you drift from God. Now, why you are drifting from God and have no love? What you're not realizing? That if you don't have love, then bitterness, anger is taking its time to come in. While you are drifting, you are not realizing that anger is coming in. Because if you don't have love, then what is inside of you? There must be a carnal mind that is stepping in. And you are not realizing that something is coming at you. And the thing about it is that when you used to talk to God, God used to hear you brightly. And you used to hear God. Because you were close. All of you were close to God. But the moment you trip from God, God said, All right, I am going to stay right here. Now stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. They can't touch Jesus no more. Because they are far away. Now you ask, you ask me a question and I will tell you. Let me answer it and tell you. Don't Jesus still in the presence? Huh? Don't Jesus look, look here. You know, God know when Jesus left the same place. But what happened? They are not able to hear Jesus. No more. You know why? Come here, my daughter. Come. Because between Jesus and them, there was too many space and something take up the space. I pray that you get what I'm saying. No, because stay. I stick up his face. Try to touch Jesus now. Shut out your hand. Black it. Black our hands. Black it. So you see that there is no correspond here because each time they lift up the hands, I'm blocking them. I'm blocking them. So there is no connection to Jesus. So while the connection is not connected, I will be able to tell them, don't pray two hours no more. That's a foolishness. And she over here, I tell them, when last you a party, just one person, it doesn't mean not to follow nobody. Right away, they just move and go. So they go, go back and sit They go. All of a sudden. Once they go, she go. You see that? Who is on the side now? Nobody. Jesus don't move there. No. No. He's gone. Did you see Jesus move? Jesus don't leave his position. When you are talking about people that are not in Christ, it's not Jesus leave his position. It's not Jesus take the power away from them. It's them take the power from themselves. It's them take the glory 
of God from over itself. Because Jesus is still in position. Look, man, he, he, he has come to the cross and he has purchased you by the blood of Jesus. Oh my God. And he said, if you come to the cross and you take up the cross and follow me, then the do of his power, the glory of the Almighty God will rest upon you. Coming up, God, now we're sitting right here. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I am praying that you are getting what I'm saying today. It is time for us to stop play church. Stop play church. Live a life of holiness. Sins are reproach to all nations. But righteousness exalts a nation. It's a you and I give your power. All power in heaven and in earth are given unto you. I have taken the keys of hell, death, and the grave, and I have placed it in your hand, and I've given it unto you so that you can execute the judgment. You can walk in style and power. Here's a scripture that says that you must you can speak to the mountain if you have faith. As a grain of mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain and tell the mountain to be removed. And the pump mountain removed. But the problem with the church, the church now I move the mountain. The church they find God. You don't see the mountain. Move the mountain, God. Move the mountain, God. God, we said move the mountain. And God said, I'm going to find myself. I'm never going to say, I'm going to move the mountain. And you must move the mountain. All you got to do is line up. Line up yourself so you can hear the two of the two of his power so that you can move the mountain. The mountain is not hard to move, but you have to understand the formula how to move the mountain. Somebody do you something, your mouth lungs up, eh? and your heart are jumps up. Oh, we think it be. Praise the Lord. Who we think he be? I got you talk up. Yeah, that praise God and talk up. Jesus may God help us in this time and season because we are coming down to the last days. And God said, Young man shall get vision, old man dreams. But who is in the position to take on the mantle? You need a formula. That's why you have to find a ministry that is speaking Bible and not put up with rubbish and nonsense and foolishness. But the word of the Lord shall preach in thy loaded style that in the glory of the Almighty God can rest upon you so that you can be an asset for the Almighty God. I don't come to a team and play church because too many souls are dying. People don't know what to do. People are getting caught up with all type of style. But if you check their heart, there is no love. If you ask everybody in the world, Lord Jesus, if they want to carry the dynamic power of God, if they want to walk in the glory of God, the majority of them will tell you yes. They will tell you yes. And if you ask them, if the anointing of God is open to your life, they tell you yes too. If you ask them, if they can do great and mighty things of God, they tell you yes. But the Bible tells me, do I speak with tongues of men? And I have the angels. And I have not love, I have nothing. So we are come tell me you have something. No more in there. You, 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 you are dead until when time you, 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 you come into the place of obedience and clear down the body and the altars are living sacrifice and make a decision and say for better for worse. But I need to war. I need to call upon God. I need to study the word. I need to praise the Lord. I need to shout. I need to do good. I need to forgive. Since the Sunday that we are heading for the new year, don't go over the new year with no hypocrisy inside of you. Clean out! Let God the man, let God the woman, let God the pitney. The glory of God can rest by you when you have all type of baggage and pot of plate, pot and spoon in you. Let it go! If you never do, let me remind you.
ማይ ነው ወፋለ ወጭ ነበር አሎ ቢየም ዶኪን ዶኮ ዳይ ዊል ቢ ዶን አዳት ኢሰይ ነበር ወይ አራት ሄ ዩ ዋር ሜድ ፎር ዲ ዶክስ ሌት ዳይ ዊል ቢ ዶን ኢን ሀርት ኢን ዩ አዝ ዲስ ነበር ጊቭ ኦፍ ዚስ ዲ ዮር ዲል ብራይ አንደዋ forgive me for all my trespasses as you forgive those that have trespassed against you let it go that's one of the blacker that blacks anointing blacks glory it blacks progress it black prosperity i don't need to walk in the humility of God let it go from your child somebody do your song your baby some of us may be mistreat abused molested no type of thing how we carry that bitterness inside of me how we know it rough man we know it rough Come on, me know I drop. I know you alone been through it. Me been through it too. Come on, I, I have been through it too. Eh? But I have learned to choose which way I want to go, which direction I want to go. Either I want to carry them in my belly and dead on the hell, or I want to move in the dimension of the Holy Ghost, helping my brothers and sisters. Asa ke mwai ko chomika. Ala mi to pane man. Pi to tell me about church and I tell me about say you know why I come to church because pastor is a pastor that before me a Christian and me a little boy pastor bless me. So I'm only never only never go to church. Ho only never only never only never call up my name up and down. I said pastor you wicked because you make me with the man. I will meet the man at Jamaica, Dominic America. We go up on him up. Come with son. I'm the hook him. He said we love you. I'm the forgive you. God bless you. You see, if you God my dear pray that the church you mean, we are coming to an end of year. My sisters, my brother, we don't have much money here today. But if you that here, here we for me. If you can clean your heart, if you can clean your heart, if you can make Jesus your choice, if you can accept him as your personal Lord and Savior, the glory of the Almighty God will rest upon you. You have to forgive people. You got to let them go. You want the glory, you want the anointing. You, you, you want the power that given to Jesus Christ to you. If you cannot and you will not get to occupy the glory of God until you surrender totally to God and say God I am your son I am your daughter I am letting go that bondage I am letting go that foolishness I am letting go the hypocrisy I am letting go the uncircumcised Philistine and I am holding on to Jesus Christ the rock of salvation Read that scripture for me again. Let's see what. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you. Because of your what? Your unbelief. Come on, I want to. I want to show you something. In order to operate in the prophetic and to carry the glory in your life. Number one, remember I tell you? Love. You see, you have to remove The second thing that you got to do is to remove unbelief. I am praying that you you get this. You have to remove yourself out of unbelief. Because who God say you are is who God say you are. And if the Bible said either is in Christ is a new creature. All 
things are passed away and we all are things become new. That means all unbelievers, all of them gone. You keep them through the door. Because you are serving not a mighty creator. You are serving a God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can think or manage. No, when you kick and believe through the door, remember we talk about bitterness, the root of bitterness, anger, and forgiveness. All of them is funny. Jesus, you have to let it go. You have to begin to clean up yourself. As a, and then the son said, Fill my cup, Lord. I lift him up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsty of my soul. Yeah. Pray for me then. And feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill it up. And bless me up. Come on, church. Fill my cup. I lift him up, Lord. Come and quench this thirst in our my soul. Yeah, pray after them. Feed me till I want no more. Fill my heart with love and bless me So when you let go, you have love. Let go doubt and believe. You let go anger. And the next thing that you need to do is to study your word. I hope you're marking this down. Study the word of God. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. If you're not studying the word, you're not approved. You can't talk if you approve when you're not studying. You have to study the Bible. If you, if you ever follow what I'm saying to them, the glory of the Almighty God will drop on you. We said, study the word of God. Study to show thyself approved. You have to study. I'm going quickly. As, as you begin to study, the word of the Lord is going to lead you into prayer. Say prayer. No, let, 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 me, let me break down the prayer. Because when Jesus went into the into the mountain, he was he was <laughs> he was sent to the mountain to be tempted, tested, and tried. You better not that. Tempted, tested, and tried. When any man of God come to any country and you're ready to take out the mantle, any and God gave him that nation. He must be tempted, he must be tested, and he must be tried. That means four years or five years before he think about coming to Antigua, anyway, my God. God, God set him up and, and, and said, I can brag on him like Job. No, you, you have to understand when God is going to brag on you. When you came to the country, where you are coming from, the principalities and the powers in that country, they will, they will signal the principalities and the powers and the demons them in this country, like Antigua, where I am. And he said, there is a prophet that is coming to the land. I want you to begin to set up your agent them to be in control. So send them, if you want to keep some service here, I keep some service here, begin to send them to friend so that they can get together. Because we want to take him down. Because if we don't take him down, eventually he will take over the line. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's why sometimes you get so much fight. But I come to tell you today that if perseverance is inside of you, as I said, perseverance is inside of you, you will be the head and not the tear. You will be above and not beneath. No weapon that form against you will prosper because you will be unstoppable. You will be unbeatable. You will be unshakable. Because according to Isaiah 61, the Spirit of the Almighty God is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to preach and teach good guidance unto the people. He has sent me to buy the broken hearted and to proclaim liberty to the captive and the open of the prison to them that I born. I come to Antigua with a man yet. I come to destroy every use and bondage, every limitation. I come to 
kingdom. I come to destroy every work of the evil one. Amen. 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 Jesus. I hear the voice of Jesus. Very low.
the people of God don't know what they carry. They don't know the prophetic glory upon their life. But if you crop what I'm saying to you as I'm closing, you will understand that you are made to do great and mighty things. I pray you're getting it. We talk about love. We talk about unforgiveness, bitterness, root and bitterness. Yes, we talk about fear and all these things. No, I am coming and we don't reach a prayer. And we talk about Jesus being tempted. No, remember that you have to be tempted. You have to be tested and you have to be tried. So while you are tempted and tested and tried, you have to stay on the right road. You have to stay on the right road. You see, there are many ingredients that is poured in, into a bread, into the trough for the bread to be eaten. Do you ever sell you sugar on the bread? Do you ever sell you flour on the bread? You need the flour, you need the sugar, you need the salt, you need the dough. Like I need what it eats. You need uh, uh, all different and you need the, the baking powder, all the tea. Well, we don't need to swell it up. Lord Jesus, you need, I mean, you, need to be, you need to put it in a place where your weight to be swell. And then you need to go in the oak to burn it at the fire. And then after you go through the fire, you need to come out and control the pan. Lord Jesus, you need to put somewhere and wait to be cool. Because if you just give somebody to eat like that, you will burn up your mouth and they will run from you. Because your doctrine is not right. But when you are an eatable bread, you are touched to the bread of life. And the Father said, I am the bread of life. And he that eat from this bread shall never hunger. I drink from this bread. Never thirst it. He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers and living water. You need to let the water flow out of you. You need to let the glory flow out of you. Church, you need to stir up. What is inside of you? We're not here to play numbers. We're not here to numbers. Numbers is joke. Look, Paul, one man, he had been to many places and take over. Elijah, Elisha, and Moses, David, Peter, Paul, Barnabas. All of them, they were what is one man, and they, they move in dimension and dimension. What happened to the church in Antigua? That church need to rise up, that church need a fire. You need to stop what is inside of you. Pull out the glory. So, the next place we get you. You see, when Jesus being tempted and tested and tried. He never just tempted, tested, and tried. But Jesus prayed till his sweat became blood. Hear me very well. If you want to walk in the glory, you gotta make up your mind to pray. Because look, you have to make up your mind to what to pray. You're a, a, a prayerless Christian. He's a powerless Christian. You don't have no power. You're dead if you don't have no prayer life. If you don't have prayer, the Bible says pray in a season and out of season. You have to make prayer your choice. You have to discipline yourself, discipline your life, and get down on your knees and pray. Have to pray. Jesus prayed to him, sweat come blood. And Jesus had died. I was coming down after the mountain. How what would you say that? Hi, Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. I know this is coming out for 40 days fasting. You're praying till your sweat become blood. I, 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 I know, say, I'm a big man. You can't turn stone in a bread. Then what He was tempted. He was tested. He was tried. And God says, Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, that means you have to the word. You have to have the word. You have to have the word. You have to have the word. You have to learn to pray. You have to learn to carry before God. You have to learn to pray. You have to learn. You have to learn. And I already tell you that. 
Que tu donnes un air à plus. We meet up and again the devil. The devil say, they say all these things in the world, they belong to me. No, you are telling the creator who made the creative being. The creative being telling his creator that everything belongs to me. That is all even in a church. Ah, Jesus. God has set a man in charge. God has set a board in charge. People want to override. And if they don't get their position and get the wheel they want, they begin to call. And they begin to talk. And suck, suck, you know, and talk all type of manner of evil. But the Bible says, if God is with me, who can be against me? I am suck you in a diva. For a guy like this, to rule up and to destroy the yokes of darkness. Yes. So the devil tempted. And all that the devil tempted, Jesus says, Don't tempt your Lord, your God. I mean, make you. I mean, are your creator. But well, don't come and tempt me. Eh? You see me? You understand? I me mean, make you like some children today. They're not obedient to their parents. They're disobedient to their parents. And they don't understand that they're not them make their parents. And the parent make them. You were in a young mother's belly for nine months. He never. Lord Jesus, come on, touch me on fire again. I still your mother. No kill what God do to you, a God and your father. You can't get away from that. And if you try to disrespect him, the Bible going to read upon you that says the wages of sin is dead. That means you're pronouncing upon yourself a place of condemnation. Because no matter what in life, the Bible says you must love the Lord thy God with all your heart. And love your earthly mother and father that your dear may be up upon the Lord which the Lord thy God giveth thee. That means you must be obedient. Very important. Can I say tell you? We're going right to the new year. Drop off the baggage, man. Many of our members today they are at work. Some of them might be watching. But I am here to speak. You understand me? Because you see this 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 is it, 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 it's a sacred place. Many people say, Oh, prophet, oh, you don't bring nobody to preach here. Prophet, man, bring nobody to the pulpit. You see my spiritual father, Bishop Earl Hall, he don't reach to Antigua yet to stand around this pulpit. I will never put nobody on this pulpit until he comes back on this pulpit. Because I am a man of discipline. I am a man of discipline. I am a man with integrity. I'm in a fallen no crowd because look me now fallen no crowd. I said the song said, I am decided to hold on to the end. Jesus is with me. I need my candy pen. As I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold on to the end. I will not accommodate anyone else until my father comes. Because they said they will eat and drink and talk with you. But in you, they have money. They're not with you. But you have to understand that the race is not for the swift. And the battle is neither for the strong. But those who can endure to the end. I won't be ready to write on this. In order for you to carry the prophetic, you have to have discipline. Self you have to have God discipline. You have to learn discipline yourself. Discipline, discipline. Discipline yourself. You have to learn to respect authority. You have to learn. Because let me tell you, one day you might become a leader. You might become a boss. You might have a business. You might have something. And you want somebody who is coming to understand that this business belongs to me. 
and I am giving you instruction and you must follow it. Obedient. Jesus was obedient to the cross. I hope in that is mocked. He didn't say anything. Even when Judas said to the people, when you hear me, give my kiss and say, Heal master. And I want it. And when Judas go to Jesus, he kissed him and said, No, heal master. And they grab her and him. When they hold Jesus, they have got power when they find Jesus. Free love. But Jesus was second. And Jesus has gone with them. When Peter was going and see what I want, Peter pull out him soul and chop off her ears. I could imagine Peter just say, Yeah, we are going to touch the master. But Jesus could not want to cut the ears. If we see a man chop off a man's ears, and, 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 and the man may carry, take up the ears and put down the ears, they are good. <laughs> but mankind is so wicked, desperate to kill the Savior of the world. The man take up the ears and put it on, and then still go with the man. So sometimes you see you are getting persecution. It is not for a, it's not a bad place you are in. You see, I'm going to show you something. If everything that you hear, you say is the devil, then you are living in a spirit of fear. You have some people, everything that's wrong with them, they say the devil. And so, they are not in a position to hear from God because they, are, they have all these baggage on the line coming down. So God is right there, but they are not hearing from God. So when they hear something, speak to them. They, 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 they take long to realize that it's God. So everything that speaks to them, you say, I bind your foul devil in the Jesus of my mind. I say, Lord God, God, I speak to the man I bind Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus, you foul spirit. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And then Jesus, I say, be still, be still, be still, don't fight, be still, be still, don't fight. I have you, I got you, don't fight. I, I have your battle, I have your battle. And if I have four demons, you think you can't cool me down? You think you can't cool me down? I will lift hard up, I will fight hard. You think me easy? He said, I will not deal with you, that you're talking to me. I will do you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you, don't, you, you don't take time out to know the voice of God. And the reason for that is because the baggage are there. The baggage. So you don't know that you are the church. You don't know that two numbers power is inside of you. You don't know how to handle it. Now, when you look at what is happening, you have to understand that prayer is different from fasting. Don't be praying and think you're fasting. Fasting means that you're doing something beneficial to you. Beneficial to you. If, if you don't understand that fasting is not for God, fasting is to build you up and to grow you into the things of God. You ain't doing God a favor when you fast. You're doing yourself a favor. So the more you fast, is the more you climb. And the more you fast, is the higher you climb. So the more you fast, is the better for you. So when, when you are praying, when you are fasting, enter into your closet. And when you enter, close the door. The Father may come in the way I don't. Close the door. And then you pray to your Father, which is in secret. And the Father that is in secret will reward you openly. Don't be like the hypocrites that open the window and say, me are fast to their sister children and seek in the Lord. <laughs> The sunrise just said, Don't mind my knees when sunrise. Who was going at your window? Is at your knees. So you have to understand about fasting. 
we have to understand your prayer. Next year coming up, we're going to be teaching a lot of stuff. We're going to have a lot of seminars. I'm going to, I'm going to ask my wife, and I'm going to, and I'm going to, you know, get some things in place. We're going to keep class here, and the people need to be taught. The people need teaching. The people need teaching. And, and, and in order for the people to climb higher, then they have to be taught. There must be a teacher. There must be an instructor. Jesus used to go into the temple and he used to teach them. You didn't see how they saw Jesus and Jesus teach them. You understand? In order for you to learn, there must be a teacher. And you have to learn to be obedient to the teacher so that you can be exalted. I remember when I was a big man, I couldn't read. And I married, I couldn't read. Not even A E I O U. And when I married, I said, let me control the foolishness. Pride go inside. You see that pride? That is left to come into. In order for the anointing to come upon you, you need to cut out pride. We're too prideful. We think that we, oh, it is something like that. Pride killing us. The Bible said not deal with the proud and the scornful. That's Bible. You have to come to a place where pride come out of you. Let go pride. Let it go. And be obedient to God. Many times I sit down and I sit on the book and be tell me, A, E, I, O, U, Vogel. Start. Do it thing. It's all right. When this word is to be break it down, say this, boom, bam, bam, and get it done. But I was humble. Never more like something went on. Because no man is an island. No man stands up. You have to be wise in this season and this time. Don't come to town like you. You you, you, you study some and we start. God is the leader. Surrender to leadership. And the mighty hands of God make God deal with you. Let go it. The Bible says, and iniquity, pride, all these things was found in Satan. And the Bible said, behold, I saw Satan coming down out of heaven like lightning. Coming down, kick him out. Because pride. God created you. And then you talk about you want to build your children higher than the most high. Somebody helped you in a life. Somebody put you somewhere. And the same people who put you somewhere, you start to walk upon them. But walk upon them like you. Like nothing. You will step on them to reach where you want to go. And you don't care about if them if them if them want happy how they want sad what kind of heart you have you can't do that you have to remember good the first one that put me on a plane out of Jamaica up to the year if if, if you want the last dollar we had it we still give him still help him you know why because I remember where I'm coming from. If you don't know where you're coming from, you'll never know where you're going. You have to know where you're coming from. Don't bite the ant that feed you. you are, are you here in the church? We are going over into 2022. Do not bite the ants that feed you. They have a say about do unto others. I said, what do you Jesus said, oh, nobody, nothing but love. Love! You know, you know what, but you want me love. You must love me. Pride. I should write it down. You have pride, you have fasting, you have pride. You must have a place of worship. You must know how to worship God. I'm not talking about praise. Because praise is not worship. Praise is when you jump and you go. Praise the Lord. Worship. When you sit down and you say, Rule of heaven. Rule of heaven. We bow. Your true Rule of 
And Jesus take you from the coolies. And you are going into the coolies of coolies. And when you get to the coolies of coolies, you can't even sing anymore. Because tears become your language. At that point, God himself is speaking. And you are in to him. At a time you're not going to tell God, me lose my cold or me lose my gold. You're not going to tell God about my children. Oh, you're saying, God, I love you. Lord, you know I thank you for life. My life is in your hands. Oh, sweet God. Sweet Jesus. Oh, this is a place that you get to. This is where the anointing is. This is where the glory is. This is where the power is. that you're writing down it. Now, we have two more to go as our closing. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So, if you don't have faith, the Bible says it is impossible to please God. But if you don't have faith, you don't have no. To please God, you have to have faith. He said, if without faith, it is impossible. You get the word? Impossible to please Him. For the Bible said, God is a spirit. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. That means you have to have that faith. Faith without works is dead. If you don't understand about the working of God, you can't operate in it. You have to understand about works. How to operate in the supernatural. No, God points up the road and God says, blind man, and God take up some mud. Mud. And spit in the mud and put it on my eye. And tell him to wash in the pool of one. Salon. And the man got out of the pool and use the water and wash his eyes and open his eyes. And the man in front of him and say, Lord, Jesus, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. Now, if, I, if I'm in church and I tell somebody, go up there in the flowers and take up some mud and bring up it. And I slap it in the fire and say, Bed wool. He said, Pastor, I'll come here. <laughs> Because they don't understand spiritual authority. Ah, Jesus. I, I'm trying to bring you. I, 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 I don't want to go deep, deep but I'm just trying to, uh, to position you for 2022. You have to understand authority. You have to understand the work of God and the working of miracles, the working of signs and wonders. You have to understand the working of the Holy Ghost. You, you have to understand. And I'm coming down by saying, you cannot, and I'm pretty right on this, you cannot walk in righteousness until righteousness has been revealed to you. You have to hope in your heart for righteousness to be revealed to you. Begin to work. Bible says by the sweat of your brow you shall eat bread. It is impossible for you to be a lazy man and carry the glory. No lazy people carry glory. If you are a lazy person, you cannot carry the glory. You hear me? Uh, 
This one I wanted to hold back, but I'm going to give it to you. Come down. Every person that need the glory of God to operate on them and in them must be very healthy. Are you hearing me? Must be very healthy. Healthy. That means you must take care of your body. Take care of your body physically. Take care of your body spiritually. You cannot feed one over the other. Remember your spirit is a person. Because you are a spirit. This is a shell. So if you're feeding this with dumpling and rice and chicken, you must feed your spirit with the Bible. They must not override it like this and fighting all the time. The spirit must be sure at all times. so much thing today. I'm going to cut this. Because there's so much I want to give to you. But I'm praying that everyone's spirit is receptive to what I'm giving. Should I, Lord? Let me give it to you. In order for any man walk in the supernatural and to hear the voice, the audible voice of God, both from his ears, his mind, his spirit, and his soul. He must be a very calm man. He must be a very calm person. Nothing must bother him. He must be a guy that loves smiles at all times. Be very generous. Must not take anything personal. I pray you get this one because this is the last one. Okay. Must be calm. Your spirit must not entertain hypocrisy. For if it does, only a matter of time, you will be polluted and you become dormant. You must be calm. Your spirit must be calm. For the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He don't entertain trouble. That's why sometimes you hear I say, calm. Sometimes you hear I say, speed. Sometimes I go to the back. Sometimes I go. Sometimes I go to the side because I'm trying to find the calm side. The, 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 the sides that entertain the presence, the glory. Sometimes I talk to somebody and I leave them. Sometimes you see I spend time with someone else. Because sometimes when I touch that one, that one cannot be ill because there are too many unforgiveness. The, 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 their spirit is not pure enough to receive what God has to offer. So I have to touch you and me. But when your spirit entwined with the spirit of God, there will be liberty. There will be joy. And there will be peace. I may under your blood. Oh, I may under your blood. I may under your blood. Oh, I may under your blood. I may under your blood. Lord, I may under your blood. Shall be satisfied. Let me see thy face, Lord. Let me see thy face. Let me see thy face. Lord, let me see thy face. Let me see thy face, Lord. Let me see thy face, and I shall be satisfied. My young companion, hear me well. I will not go 
and the one who don't give. The members who hear and all who are not here, bless them. Father, thank you for this offering. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you were blessed this morning. It's already afternoon. There is so much to be taught. There is so much to learn for too little time. So 2022, we have a lot of teaching, a lot of training. Amen. Amen. So this is where leadership development starts. So if those of you that are leaders and want to continue being leaders, you have to step up. Amen. Amen. What did I say? There is need for personal development, there is need for spiritual development, and there is need for what? Leadership development. I tell people, God brought you here for a reason. You might not always be here, depending on where God has called you or where God is taking you to. Every foundation is very important. You cannot be a good leader if you are not a good follower. Because we don't know how to follow people. Who will, who will follow you? Did I say correct? Yeah. If you do not know how to follow people, who will follow you? This is where training is needed. And you're going to be stretched, pressed, pressured, until you get to your elastic limits. And I'm praying that the grace of God is sufficient for you enough 
so that you don't reach your last minute and you bounce back, you recoil, and you tell yourself, I can't take it no more. So we have to be broken so that we can be made. The scripture we read, Mark 1.17, the thing that stood in me, Jesus says, come, and I will make him. Jesus is the only one that has the ability to make any man. But for you to be made, you have to submit. Amen. Amen. So Jesus cannot make any rebellious person. We are the clay, he is the potter. The potter determines and decides what to use the clay for. Am I correct? The clay doesn't tell the potter, I want to be a jug, or I want to be a plate, or I want to be a saucer. The potter determines what is good for the clay. Amen. And I'm praying that 2022, everybody sit down, strap your seatbelt, and we're ready to change. Amen. Because we are going somewhere. Dad always say it is not the quantity of people. It is the quality of the people we're trying to want to build and train. Most people are born leaders. Some are made leaders. And some people come into leadership. Whichever one you are, you will all become leaders at the end of the day. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Moving forward for our announcement as follows. Do we have any first time visitors today? No. And I want to welcome you all for coming to church today. It's Christmas Sunday, right? Most people are home and enjoying themselves. So we don't have first time visitors. Any anniversary today or this week? No anniversary. Amen. Next week, or oh, this week, Tuesday. That is a prayer meeting Tuesday. Prayer meeting Tuesday at 7 p.m. We're encouraging everybody to come. But we will not be having Bible study on Thursday. So we'll give you enough time. And we're going to be here Friday, 11. Tuesday is a holiday, right? Yes, Tuesday is a holiday. Okay, so no prayer meeting on Tuesday because Tuesday is a holiday. And Thursday, no Bible study on Thursday. Then on Friday, which is the 31st, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of December, we're going to be here 11, 11 or 30. Um, Friday is the what? It's New Year's Eve. Prayer. Night prayer. New Year's Eve and yeah. online prayer. Yeah, so we're going to, because it's New Year's Eve, we're going to be starting at 9 o'clock. At 9? Yeah. So we're going to be here for 9 o'clock. Till 12 o'clock. Then we'll proceed with the all nights. Yeah. Okay. So because we know that usually the last Friday of every month is our all night prayer meeting. So apparently New Year Eve falls on the <coughs> Friday, which is the last Friday of the month. We're going to be keeping our New Year's Eve starts from 9 o'clock and we're going to go through and do our usual all night prayer meeting. Amen. It is expedient. We're going into the new year. We have to start right. Amen. Um, for the new year's, um, new year's night, we, we are going to um, have fun and um, we have eating and everything, right? Soup and whatever out here. But um, the new year's day, the 1st of January, we are going into a 21 day fasting, right? And um, we will explain about that and and the, what, and the group page, right? And we're going to do a 21 day fasting, and um, for the church, it's going to be from 6 to 6, right? Um, within the 6 to 6, we will send out all the, the stuff that they need to eat, right? For that fasting, okay? Um, after the 21 day fasting, it's going to finish for the same night of the um, anniversary. All right, so the same day of the anniversary, you're going to break in the morning. You're going to give you a break to break the morning instead of the afternoon. So you can refresh up yourself with some tea and do what you have to do to come to the anniversary for the church. All right, um, Pastor will explain about the anniversary. And then um, if anyone wants to come along with me, um, I'm going to um, break also in 21 day fasting. And then I'm going to come back in with another fasting, but that is just for me and the leadership, which is going to be a 40 days and 40 nights, right? And um, that one is going to be a realistic fasting. It's only if you really want.
want to climb to a certain dimension, then you, I will permit you to come in, right? But that must have to come to the invitation. You understand? The question that they want to be in that fasting, and I can face in that fasting, all right? In that fasting, it's going to be a very strict fasting, and strict rules in that fasting. So if you're not prepared for that, then you can't come. But I am encouraging everyone to do the 21 day fasting. All right? And uh, I think the, the, the fourth day is going to start on the, um, the, ter the third of February. Yeah. All right? So I'm going to do 40 days and 49. Stiff fasting, not to ask any God for anything, but to develop yourself. All right? And um, 21, I'm asking the church, please, to join the 21. Right? so that we can be able to move forward in the things of God. We have the church to do next year. We have so many things to do. And it's only God can be this church because he is the one who is set to Peter up and Peter, the revelation of Peter, be my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen? So we want to stand strong and watch God work, and miracles will happen Amen. in ministry. All right? God bless you. Amen. I think Pastor said almost all. You see the way we give we give God tithes, right? We give him a tenth of every income. The same way we are going to give God the first month of the year. So that is our tithe to him. So you know when you give God the first, he blesses the rest. Am I correct? So I'm encouraging everybody. Fasting starts. We're going to conclude on that. And it's going to be for 21. And just immediately after the fasting, our anniversary kicks in. Amen. And like we said already, we're going to have the anniversary dinner. We're not selling any tickets for now. And I'm going to ask everybody to be contributing. Now, I was supposed to get back to the board with our 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 items or our menu. Amen. <laughs>